Welcome back, Adam here. We've looked at the device management and now we're going to look more closely at groups. In this module, we'll show you how to create a group, how to manage groups and examples of directories. Now, my colleague Matthew will take you through the demo. Komodo One's IT and Security Manager has many ways to help you manage your user and device groups. First, let's create a group. Log into your Komodo One account. Navigate again to the device list, which you can get to in several ways. From the IT and Security Manager dashboard, either click on Device List in the lower right tile, or click on Devices in the left-hand menu, and then click on Device List, and then click on the Group Management tab. Or from the Komodo One homepage, go to Applications, IT and Security Manager, and then Device List. Click on the Create Group icon, and in the pop-up window, name the group. Leave the company name as is and start to type in the name of the device in Devices to find pre-existing ones. The tool will auto-finish with the names related to the company name. Select the device you want from the list and then click the Add button. This will become a group in the new group listing. In the center of the screen, you'll see the All Devices header with a list of companies and groups. Now, go to the Management tab at the top of the page and select the Customer option. This will bring up a list of all your clients. The top one is your own company. The others are customers. You can compare these two different lists, the Device List and All Devices. Simply right-click on the Device List and open that window in a new tab. Admins use our group management functionality often, which allows you to manage devices in groups and organizations, rather than by type or status. For example, you can see all the devices in Tom's Bank UK by clicking on the Tom's Bank UK in the All Devices list. It works much like a Microsoft document folder with folders and subdirectories. Examples of the directories include grouping by types of devices, such as laptop, desktop, or mobile, we often see MSPs grouping devices by operating system, like Windows 10, or by location, such as New York City Office. Group management gives you the flexibility to group devices in the way that is best for your network. That wraps up our look at group management. We have shown you how to create a group, how to manage groups, and examples of directories. Now, time for the quiz, and then we'll be back with profiles, security, and whitelisting.